Hey everybody, what is going on? My name is Scrogman, and today I'm going to be teaching you exactly how to set up the new Sauron Quest features for MooBot. Now, before anything, of course, before I do say get into this, of course, you're going to have to have MooBot as a moderator in your chat before any of this will work. So if you don't have MooBot for the, if you don't have MooBot, then you may as well just stop watching this video right now. Um, but it's really simple. All you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go into features. Now, once you are into your MooBot.tv slash whatever your Twitch name is, once you're into your main page, and over here to features, and as you can see right here, it says Song Quest Alpha. This is the second to the, the second from the top. Um, so have your viewers choose what music you're listening to. <clears throat> Automatically resize the players of videos aspect ratio. That doesn't matter. I don't know what that does. But the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to download Hotkey and OBS file application. Download that. Uh, you're going to click download. It's going to pop up right here. I don't really need it because I already have it installed. Um, I guess I'll I guess I'll go through I'll go through it anyways. Um, <clears throat> so it's downloaded. You're going to click on that. It's going to verify the explanation, and you can exp and it's going to verify it. But as you can see, it's already running, so it did give me that error. But it will say it will say MooBot is <clears throat> MooBot assistance is now whatever. It'll say something. Once you're done with that, uh, firstly you are going to want you are going to want to have on. You're going to see at this bottom right. If you go down to your little your little hidden icons thingies, show hidden icons. You're going to click on that, and you're going to see right here MooBot assistance. If you click on that, you'll have these things. Now. This is what you. This is really all you need to have done for this to work. But um, this is just for hotkeys and stuff. So if you go to hotkeys, you can set up your increase volume, decrease volume, skip current song. Um, those are the hotkeys I have set up. There's plenty of other things you can do on here. You can have it enable hotkeys, unhost when broadcast starts. That's another cool little thing that the, that this application does. Is if you're hosting, you can be continuously hosting somebody. Like if you have. See, I know some people, I know I, I Jericho or so, whatever, he hosts, um, I follow him and he hosts, uh, Mo um, <clears throat> uh, what's it called, uh, Mad Cat, all, the um, Monster Cat constantly, and like with this feature, as soon as you start streaming again, it will unhost that person. So if you're like wanting to host somebody but you don't want to go and type in the command unhost, all you have to do is click that little icon and it will do it immediately. Show notifications. Uh, unhost, check for updates, log out, and all that stuff. I did not mean to click that. Okay, but once you're done with that, there's some other features about the song quest that. Once you're done with that, it's all done. You do not need to do anything else. Once you, um, if you type in the exclamation point song quest in your uh, ch in your chat, it will give you the instructions on exactly how to request a song. You can tell your viewers to do that if they want to know how to request a song. And yeah, but then another cool feature about it is you can go over here to song quest. And there's a feature called secondary playlist. If you click on that, you can actually, if like, say nobody's actually, no, say you don't have many people in your chat and nobody, or no, not a lot of lurkers or something like that, and nobody's requesting any songs, you can have the secondary playlist. This is all, by the way, this all goes through YouTube. Um, you can have the secondary playlist set up. So if nobody's requesting a song, it will immediately play some of these songs. That's my secondary playlist, and it immediately plays that as um, <clears throat> whenever I'm streaming and nobody's requesting anything. That's pretty much all I gotta say. You can also import from other things. Uh, you can import a playlist, and if you just click on Add, and then you copy the YouTube link, it will put it right there. But that's all to the YouTube. And then over here, if you want to start your your playlist, if you want to start the request going, click the play button. I wonder if it'll work. Actually, it might be a tad bit loud. Um, and there you go, right there. It goes through the YouTube. It plays it. It goes through your uh, goes through your computer, and you can hear it on the actual stream. But anyways guys, that's pretty much all you gotta know about this. If you wanna know if you want any more tutorials on what to do with I with MoveOut, I'll probably do some more. Um, but also you can also do the request filtering. Um, do not apply filters for this user group. Um, <clears throat> and just all sorts of other filterings. Um, wrong button you can also go in and do custom commands. You can skip current play song, you can put commands in the actual chat. But yeah, that's everything you can find. Everything you want to know about this is right on the MoveBot page. It's all right here. Anyways, guys, my name is Mr. Godwin, and that has been my tutorial on how to set up the how to set up the new Song Quest features on MoveBot. If you did enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button. Uh, I really, I really appreciate it. it. Really helps me out. Also, subscribe for more cool tutorials, whether it be on MoveBot. I mostly do Twitch tutorials. Um, but if there's anything else I know I do, or there's anything else you need to help with, just let me know, and I will try my best. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys. <laughs>